Hey guys, Cam here and it's about time we got back into some tips and tricks. And for this video we're focusing on the Pixel 3, the phone every Android purist craves. Apologies in advance if I go too quickly, but be sure to hit that pause button if you're struggling to keep up. Number 1 is getting to the secret notepad. Now normally we put the easter egg at the end, but this time we're switching it around because the easter egg on the Pixel is actually useful now. Head to Settings, System, About Phone, tap on Android version and then tap lots of times on the Android version in the pop-up window. Now you'll get the Android P easter egg that you can pinch to zoom in or out on. But if you tap on it quickly a few times you get to a little doodle pad and now you can draw. It's pretty basic in that you can choose from a handful of different thicknesses but not lots of different pen or pencil styles. You can also change colour if you want to. Number 2. Quickly get to your now playing music history. Now by default your Pixel recognises songs and displays the name on your lock screen. But if you want to get to the history of the songs that has been recognised quickly, you can actually add a shortcut onto your home screen. Head to settings, sound and now playing and make sure it's turned on. Now tap on the now playing history to see which songs have been recognised. At the top it'll show you an option to place a shortcut on your home screen. Just tap yes and then either drag it or add automatically. But if that option isn't on the top of your home screen, tap the three dots in the corner and then tap add to home screen. Number three is using fingerprint sensors to drop down your notifications. Now this has been around for the last couple of Pixel generations, but it's one worth knowing. Head to your settings, system, gestures and swipe fingerprint for notifications and then toggle it on. Now swipe down on your fingerprint sensor and it'll drop down your notifications and quick settings shade. It's super convenient. Number four is setting up your sunrise alarm. And this is one of the cool functions that's added by having a Pixel stand wireless charger. You can use it as a photo frame during the day or at night have it go off and then show a sunrise colour changing animation that goes from red to yellow in time for your regular morning alarm. Before accessing these settings you'll need to have put the Pixel down on the Pixel stand to ensure they're paired. Now drop the quick settings options down, press and hold the Bluetooth icon and tap on previously connected devices and you should see the Pixel stand there. Tap the settings cog and now select sunrise alarm. Then toggle it on and it'll gradually light up your screen 15 minutes before the alarm goes off. You can also change the time that it applies to. Number five is squeezing to mute. Now Pixel phones have had an interesting function built into the edges for a couple of years now and by default it launches Google Assistant. But you can also use it to mute timers, alarms and notifications if you want to quickly stop your phone from ringing. Head to settings, system and gestures and hit active edge. Now you just need to make sure squeeze for silence is on and you can squeeze the phone to kill an alert. Number six is setting app timers. Now if your resolution for the new year is using your phone less, head to settings, digital well-being and select dashboard. Here you can select the apps you want to time limit each day and then the phone won't let you on that particular app once you've hit your timed limit. Number seven is setting a bedtime schedule. Another really useful part of digital well-being is wind down. Go into it and set up the bedtime schedule. Now when you toggle it on and set a time for it to begin and end, it'll kill your notifications as well as turning your screen grayscale. Number eight is allowing home screen rotation. And by default, if you rotate your phone while looking at the home screen, nothing happens. But if you press and hold the wallpaper and tap home settings, toggle the allow the home screen rotation toggle on and then when you rotate the phone you can tap the little rotation icon and it'll rotate your icons and home screen to landscape. Number nine is dark theme and this is kind of a simple trick that's been around a little while. But if you set a dark wallpaper by default your drop down menu and app drawer will automatically go dark. But you can also change it manually now. If you want to have a dark theme and light wallpaper, just go to settings, display, device theme and choose the dark option. Lastly, pop up navigation in maps. So if you open Google Maps, start navigating while walking and then tap the home button like you would to launch a video pop up floating window and then you can move it to wherever you want on the screen while you do whatever else you need to do on your phone. So those have been our tips and tricks. There is a much more extensive guide on pocketlint.com I'll leave a link to those in the description box. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. Follow me over there and hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you again soon.